I grew up around gun dogs. Um, that's something they I fell in love with. Uh, um, I also enjoyed hiking and uh, grouse hunting in southern Appalachia is just uh, hiking with a bird dog and a shotgun, so what's not to love about that? One of my family members owned a, a, a large gun dog kennel. Uh, in Surrey County in Southern Appalachia. And um, I grew up around uh, helping him in the kennel and, and assisting and training gun dogs and uh, just led into, into this obsession that I have now with, with grouse hunting. Uh, I just, uh, I hate to say this, but my generation is lazy. Uh, <laughs> they, they don't want to get out and, and walk 20 miles for birds. Um, there's also a large obsession today with, uh, with fur over feathers. Um, people would rather harvest something with fur on it than feathers, and uh, um, I think that needs to change. Um, grouse hunting is, uh, is what I wake up in the morning and think about and, and what I go to sleep at night and, and think about. Um, uh, it's, it's what I'm trying to build my life around and uh, my profession and uh, it's also my, my hobby too. So uh, uh, it means the world to me and uh, I'd, I'd hate to see it going downhill as I get older. My name's Noah Smith. Uh, I'm a college student at Western Carolina University and I'm a proud member of the Rough Grouse Society. The future of grouse conservation um, is held in the hands of a select few right now, but I, I think that needs to grow. Um, I think people my age need to get more involved with it and, and pick up a shotgun and, and, and walk, walk around these mountains with a dog and, and truly, uh, truly be dedicated to it. Uh, grouse conservation is uh, the conservation of the king of upland game birds. Um, without grouse conservation, the bird wouldn't exist and uh, my dogs wouldn't have anything to chase that's, that's truly wild. And I think that's what makes it special. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done with my life. Uh, it's, uh, it's taught me uh, how to be a better woodsman, uh, um, a better steward, steward of the land. Uh, um, it's uh, just one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. I just wanted to go on record that we grow more timber volume in a day here in Nantahala National Forest than we harvest in a year and I think that should change.